Himalayan peasant meets the he bear in his pride. He shouts to scare the monster who will often turn aside. But the she bear thus accosted rends the peasant tooth and nail. For the female of the species is more deadly than the male. When Nag the basking cobra hears the careless foot of man, he will sometimes wriggle sideways and avoid it if he can. But his mate makes no such motion where she camps beside the trail. For the female of the species is more deadly than the male. When the early Jesuit fathers preached to the Hurons and Choctaws, they prayed to be delivered from the vengeance of the squaws. Was the women, not the warriors, turned those dark enthusiasts pale? For the female of the species is more deadly than the male. Man's timid heart is bursting with the things he must not say. For the woman that God gave him isn't his to give away. But when hunter meets with husband, each confirms the other's tale that the female of the more deadly than the male. She who faces death by torture for each life beneath her breast may not deal in doubt or pity, must not swerve for fact or jest. These are purely male diversions, not in these her honor dwells. She, the other of all we live by, is that law and nothing else. Unprovoked and awful charges, even so the she bear fights. Speech that droops, corrodes, and poisons, even so the cobra bites. Scientific vivisection of one nerve till it is raw, and the victim writhes in anguish like the Jesuit with a squaw. So it comes that man, the coward, when he gathers to confer with his fellow braves in council, dare not leave a place for her, where at war with life and conscience he uplifts his erring hands to some god of abstract justice that no woman understands. gave him must command but may not govern shall and raw but not enslave him and she knows because she warns him and her instincts never fail that the female of her species is more deadly than the male